So congratulations on this. It's so cool to see you as the bad guy because we don't usually get to see you like this. No, no, that was part of the appeal of the role and that was, you know, I think that's part of the fun of the project. I know that there's a lot of kind of cyber stalking out there and mm -hmm. that's, uh, I don't know how you research something like that. <laughs> Did you find someone to stalk? <laughs> Here's the funny thing. I, I mean, I, I'm not that well versed when it comes to computers and technology. So the joy of what I do is I get to play someone who can hack into your life and, you know, you know, make your tax bill like higher than it is. Like that's the kind of fun thing that I get to play sometimes. Well, given what you do, you probably have uh, had a couple of experiences maybe with some people that get a little bit too close or a little too creepy, right? You definitely have some, some close calls. Um, and some people, you know, they, they can obsess <laughs> about certain things. Um, but I've been, I've been fortunate to kind of stay, uh, stay, stay clear of guys like him. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, right. yeah, so far, yeah, truly. <laughs> and I also want to apologize for desecrating your poster. Oh, nice. There's a beautiful woman in the poster, and then all of a sudden there's me. You see that? You see that? Look at that. That's just, that's what happens. Wow. Now we look like a singing group. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? We kind of look like a singing group. You don't right want to be in a singing group with me. No, that's right. Me neither, man. Yeah. Me neither. You're upset. That's all. That's all. We'll, we'll get through it together. Carter. Do you love me? I'm not sure. Can you tell me a little bit about your role as executive producer? You know, Clint Culpepper came to me uh, a couple years ago and over dinner pitched me the idea and I was like, let's, let's, let's do it. And, you know, that kind of thing happens all the time and sometimes you'll never hear again from somebody. And a couple years later there was a script and we got the team together and Clint was nice enough to, you know, I asked him, the truth is I was like, so am I a producer on this? Because we are, you know, we're actively working on this. And he said, yeah, so it's really just about, I've done this kind of thing before. It's just, this is the first kind of foray into producing. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, working on the set? Because it seems yeah. like such a, such a good crew, such a fun time, but then you have to stop. All right, stop, we're gonna be intense here, right? Yeah, you know, it was fun. I mean, working on this movie was fun. I mean, I had known, seen Michael throughout the years. Um, we never worked together. Um, really, I mean, we were in Think Like a Man, but we really didn't interact. And then Sanaa and I, you know, we did the best man movies together, but we never really interacted. So to work with both of them, they're both, you know, great actors and, and just really, truly professionals, and we had a great time. Yeah. Are you a big fan of the thriller genre? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. yeah. Most what definitely. are some of your favorites? Well, Fatal Attraction, Basic Instinct, uh, 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 Hannibal, all those types of movies. I'm, I'm really a huge fan. It's kind of a crazy concept too, because that this could happen to you know any any one of us. You can get you know stalked or something like that. But right. in your position, that's very likely to happen. Has that happened to you? No, no, I haven't. I haven't been stalked. No, but you're right. That was one of the things that drew me to the script is that this is a type of movie. When I read, I was like, wow, this actually could really happen. And I just when I said I wanted to meet with the director because if he can bring some a different a, a great element to it, this is the ambiance and the mood. I felt that we can we could have a winner. And we always ask people for Drew Pierce and their Hail Mary moment, the moment in their life or career they had to go for it and it worked out for them. What do you suppose that was for you? Wow, wow. <laughs> There's so many Hail Mary moments in, in this industry. Um, just, I think just making, taking a step saying I want to do this, you know, um, because you don't really get, my family's always supported, supported me, but you don't really get a lot of support from people when you're really trying to pursue your dreams. So just pursue your dreams. That's a Hail Mary moment for me.